Hi, today I will present the solid solution for UAV point clouds. How raw point clouds can be automatically classified and some examples of possible final products after this automatic classification. Why I choose to concentrate on point clouds captured by UAVs. So launch of affordable LiDAR systems has brought significant changes to the LiDAR business. This made LiDAR technology more accessible. Before, spatial data was handled as large-scale and complicated projects, mostly by national agencies. The drone, by contrast, can be quickly deployed to the desired location, reducing the time and effort required to initiate just to start data collection. Moreover, multi-sensor integration is easier, meaning that you can additionally to LiDAR data, collect RGB images, multispectral, and thermal data. As well, TerraSolid did quite a lot of development dedicated to UAV data processing and automatization of workflow, which I want to present and how TerraSolid company is related to point cloud data. So TerraSolid is software for point cloud and image processing. A bit about the company. The headquarters is in Finland and we have users all over the world. About amount of the tools, so software contains tool sets for eight industries. And what kind of data TerraSolid can process? All point clouds, no matter the source, sensor, or project scale. I will focus today on UAV datasets, but mobile, airborne, handheld scan data is also possible to use, as well as photogrammetric clouds. Matched and classified, the point cloud or vectorized objects can be utilized in many tasks of engineering, maintenance, planning, and construction. In this example, you can see how point cloud can be classified using different attributes. Dimension and vertical distance usually is calculated during the processing. Point cloud has echo returns, records, intensity value, as well as some systems assign color information. Here, paint lines detected by intensity value, cars classified using segmentation or grouping method, moving objects routine removed traffic as an unnecessary noise, Visualization by intensity. Visualization by slope. This can be useful in ruts and potholes detection. From triangulated model, for example, tram lines are visible and can be used for vectorization. When buildings are classified, Software can automatically vectorize and create 3D models. Detected trees and trend lines can be used as an input in later analysis. So basically, raw point cloud must be classified in order to, to be used as representation of real world and further modeling. What are classification possibilities with TerraSolid? So there are two options for processing UIV data. First option is simplified workflow. Data input and extraction of end results are managed by a wizard. In second scenario, user can adjust steps and settings according to the data and classification is still automatic. Since it is not a black box 
solution, you can check what is under wizard steps. And if needed, to adjust your specific project requirements or dataset. Now let's analyze wizard workflow. So most workflows start with data import. There are multiple uh, scanner system choices, so software would know what to expect from the data and how to adjust uh, classification settings depending on sensor. This wizard solution started with DJI L1 system, but now the list is quite long. Photogrammetric point clouds as well possible to import and classify through the wizard. And wizard not just reads in point cloud and trajectory data, uh, but also can reproject data into local coordinate system as well adjust to geoid. Step two combines uh, processing steps into one dialogue. Uh, you can run all at once or interrupt the manual inspection. Uh, first, data calibration and matching are done. This improves data accuracy. Then in continuous with ground classification and finally above ground features extraction. Here's the journey from raw data to classified point cloud. Trajectories are imported and set automatically through the wizard. Data is quite dense. This is displayed by flight line. A lot overlap appears. This screenshot shows already cleaned data. Without the overlap, the noise is removed, as well as some smoothing applied. Uh, ground classification contains multiple steps, as first potential ground is classified, and later ground points picked from those. Then layering data by height from ground, and the result, wizard detected vegetation and trees, classified cars, building roof and walls. From this point, you can improve classification with manual tools, apply extra steps to export the result. For example, trees were detected during trees classification, so you can export trees location and dimension attributes. Classified buildings can be as an input for building factorization. From here, you would need to continue with industry-specific tools and advanced processing can take you even further. Terrain modeling is one of the use case examples of UAV LiDAR data. First, data accuracy improved. If needed, flight passes matching can be done. Then ground classification. It is possible to adjust data to known points. And after you have final ground surface, multiple uh, triangulated models as surface or triangles can be exported, uh, start uh, contours generation. Digital elevation models can include brake lines or along roads or water bodies. Additionally, uh, stockpiles, volume computation for mining projects is possible. Another example is power lines maintenance projects. So raw point cloud classification goes further to wires and towers classification and objects detection in clearance zone. One of the goals in power lines processing is to get vectorized wires. Vectors follow point cloud and at the same time not just vectorization happens, but wires detection as well. So wire points classification. 
these vectors can be exported and used for simulation. Another possible task in po power line processing is detection of dangerous objects too close to the power line. For example, buildings dangerous vegetation by falling tree logic. This ends my presentation. So, as I mentioned, there is a that a solid simplified solution for UIV point cloud. You can use the wizard for data import and data classification. After, there is already possibility to export uh, main classes of the point cloud, produce terrain model uh, from ground class, and continue with more advanced classification.